Good morning, Ms. Friedman. Good morning, Mr. Jackson. No, I can't do that naturally. <laughs> have this going yeah. there. Your arm up there. Your fridge is cut. Are you going to go? I'm thinking cleaning out grout. Oh no. <laughs> and she's like, I want texture. I said, Well, all right. We're going to have a lot of texture. <laughs> and it wasn't as bad as I feared. So sometimes ignorance leads you down the right path. You know? Fears can slow you down. Anyway, yeah. Johnny was real, really interested in the texture. And then, really, when it comes down to it, as each kid gets to work with a tile, texture is one of the big things they've got to play with. Absolutely, absolutely. Otherwise, you have a drawing uh -huh. on clay. Yeah. Yeah. That was my big push. My teaching. Oh, thank you. There we go. Yeah. Bunch children. Don't make them walk so fast. Keep them. Ben, stop. Ben, come back and stop the mural. There we go.
Well, Johnny, now that this mural is finished, where will you be going? I'm going to go to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I hold the door open. And this that you see here is the design which I created for the purpose of giving us some guidelines in the execution of the mural. Here we are in the mural room. You might call this the situation room. There's nobody in here right now. Sometimes we have as many as four or five people in here at one time. Here's the collection of glazes which we'll eventually be applying to the tiles. Here's the design table where all the pieces are laid out. You can probably see just how detailed it gets to be at some times. And then uh, there's a, a copy of the design which we took, printed out from the computer. I took a picture of the original and then uh, blew it up panel by panel. Back here are some of our color samples which we created to help give us some guidelines when we ever get to the to the glazing stage. There are more, many more of these we have to make before we're done. That's just our basic palette. Yeah, do it. Oh, Tuesday. I mean Tuesday for sure. Tuesday. Um, Monday, I mean, if you want to come in here, I'll probably, yeah, but I, I mean, I know you were saying that you might, I might not be here, but even if I'm not but here, everything's, if everything's okay with your mom, then, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, um, I'll probably just come in here with I didn't know if you needed help with the class, because. If you're here and I need help with the class, I might just like, no oh. problem. Mm -hmm. Hey, I have a question for you then when you get a chance. All right. I'm just not sure if this is. Mm -hmm. I was trying to compare it there, but I still have a question. Well, let's hear it. This piece right here. Mm -hmm. Is this one piece? Yes. Okay, and then there's grout in between this and That's this. That's right. right. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you. I got 
this by seeing some very nice gentle work. And I know where it goes. Mine goes right here. 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 Mine Texture, this is a rope texture, this is a rope texture. And you want to take it and just kind of roll it over like this very gently. And Mrs. Human said that you were very strong. And so if you push really hard, what will happen to the clay? It goes like this. It gets too thin. Or if you take this texture and you really <laughs> go after it, what will happen? That doesn't look very much like a sky anymore. But what if you take it and just push gently? Like you get a nice, very subtle, that means very soft, texture. Uh -huh. And if you just, if you touch it, you need to just barely rub your fingers over it, because if you touch it really hard, what happens to the texture? Well, it's wet. No, It's wet, and what happens? It's too hard. So, let me show you, put your hands out like this, and I'm going to show you exactly how, how hard you can go on the clay, how hard I want you to push the clay. Very light, isn't it? Very soft. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's yes, tap, 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 tap. Very, very light. I get two taps. I thought you. I saw your hand twice. I. Saw, you saw my hand. Yeah, yes. No. But did she get you? No. Hey, oh. there's like white stuff all over here. It's still yeah. mm. So it's really yeah. soft. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to let everybody take a rope like this, or a rope like this, or a piece of brick, and just gently, yeah. gently, tap, 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 until your whole slab is covered with texture. Yeah. I'm <laughs> Mrs. Friedman, I know another texture. You do? Here's 31. Here's 831. Here's 831. Nice. I like that. You make a thing, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. I do. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a good one. Teacher, I'm going to take this idea. Something for us to slide it. Oh, I like that. Here's 15 right here. I'm looking for A46. Good. So what happens is when it's yellow, that means that part of it goes onto another sheet. So it goes like that, and then that means this half goes onto another paper. Okay, so you only see that little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Audrey. Okay. Audrey. Yeah. Audrey. Okay. Audrey. Yeah. Okay. Audrey. Yeah. 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 Audrey. Yeah.
Has anybody yes. had a, a look inside of the kiln where we put um, pots so they can get hard and yeah. we can fire them? And it's sort of like brick inside. So now we'll take a little look at what's going on behind the scenes. Here are some glazed samples ready to be fired. And they will go into the kiln here along with these other pieces of tile. You know what? We're going to have to take turns because we don't have that many. We're going to put a thin layer or thick layer of yellow, well, three layers of gray when we're finished. And you guys are going to put on the first layer. Okay? So these brushes are made to hold a lot of liquid. Get a lot in here and then just kind of dab it on. And they're very thick. For you. And if you run out, I'm go rinse them. So all of these petals need a very thick layer of canary yellow. Okay? Okay. Yeah, remember, kind of brush it on, pat it on. It can be thick. It needs to be thick. Very nice. This is the center. Do it. Yeah, it's like, you have it? Are you doing a good job? Remember? 
Just a little bit for a minute, and then just kind of. And then this is all the top is done. There we go. And then um, grab another petal. And then let that one dry because we'll put more than one coat on. And remember which ones you've done because they have to be all even, okay? Perfect. Very nice. Grab another petal. You can interview them if you like. Oh, did I took you? Oh, right, right. I have blue hands that are dark blue, and they need a dark purple. I'll be there to look at it. Don't, don't, don't swipe it around. But we need new brushes. You can't use your brush ones. Yes, so, I'll take you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you guys over here, I believe we're going to put another coat of this on. This? Are you this? No, we've done this already. Oh, yeah. Then we'll are we going to do Does it have to be this? 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 It's because we stopped. Yeah. 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 Oh, we yeah. 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 got to get me out of this too. Okay, I don't want to know like, the My sand friend Matt is like, to go ahead and keep it. Yeah. 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 That's why. Yeah. 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 Okay, we're entering the tile mural room. It's beginning to be very close to being finished. As you can see, most of the sky tiles have been done. Ellie, you can stay back. 
Don't go past the bean, guys. Okay. Well, all of these are the dust balls. Are you and traced this onto the graphite paper and then they cut each piece out in each section. Oh, right. And so it's a little shoebox. So they were all contained in the shoebox. And then I took those sections in the classroom and they rolled them out on a slab roller. So yeah. that's how they're going to hang it from the rose table. And Mrs. Rutledge did the big set. I didn't know. How about that? Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. This is gorgeous. Oh, my God. It's hard. I'm just putting a little mortar on the back of each one of these pieces. And the mortar's called thin set adhesive. I just butter it up and stick it in place. And double check it every once in a while with this acetate overlay. kind of messy with all this goop. So I kind of have to clean up as I go along any little mistakes or goopy smears I make. my favorite little butterfly there. Where? On that camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love that. I don't know if that was, yeah, that one's glued down. It's permanent. I don't think that's focusing that close. You think it is? Looks like it to me. Mm. Of course, I have my reader's glasses on. Pick out the legs. Hmm? Sticking in the legs. Yep. One of the figures. Yep. And there's another little part. So the uh, the mural is mostly completed now and ready for grouting. Is that right? Yes. That is right, isn't it? We are ready to grout. Uh huh. But what are you going to do first before you do that? Before we grout, we have to lift up all the tiles that are on seams that are not adhered uh -huh. to the backer board and catalog them. 
and just make sure everything's that all of these are actually glued down. I'm afraid there might be a loose one here and there. I didn't, I'd be surprised. We were pretty thorough yesterday. Here on the wall, we have glued up our, our sort of our, our full scale plan. So originally, we started with the uh, the pencil drawing, and then we transferred by computer to this. Out of the image up one scale, which we then transferred by hand to these full scale drawings, and now we have the finished mural Maybe. all ready for grouting. Amazing. How long has it been to get to this point? We started making tiles the second week in November with the kids, but we we were talking about this mural um, like a year ago. And what month is it now? Well, let me think. <laughs> it's March. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Just grout. Just grout. Yep. Does this have voice with it? Yeah, it has voice. Okay, let's tilt it from the side. How much do you think that weighs? I don't know, 100 pounds? Yeah. Really? It's very well distributed, though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. Maybe that's 125. That's not hard to lift. Okay, wait. Watch your step there. Three more steps, Joni, and down. Perfect. This is Mindy Mitel, Channel 11 News. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever notice on Channel 11 they're all Mindy Mitel and Roger Rabbit and they all have alliteration names? Channel 11. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Mindy. Now we need to set it down gently. Your finger. That's kind of less really than a little bit. How was St. Patrick's Day yesterday? 
was any other day. I don't know. It was a day like any other day. Okay, we have to pick up this in. Okay. The glare is just on your viewfinder, it's not on the actual. Okay. Huh? It's fine. It's great. Write my name. Hmm? Write my name. Or your name. <laughs> Load your weapons. <laughs> it's time to step in the other room. <laughs> My ankles go numb. Your ankles numb? They, they go like sleep. Could you draw the signal symbol? What? I could. Yeah. Can we monogram that on a pillow? <laughs> 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 Little t shirt, maybe? <laughs> push it up against it. Just it's not heavy. Sure. Head cleaning required. Did you zoom? Okay, it needs to be zoomed out. Okay, there we go. All right, good. <laughs> it says use head use cleaning cassette. That's not going to matter, is it? <laughs> Why do I hate to have to take this down and put it back up again? Yeah, we have to do it again. Shoot. <laughs> we have a backup one. <laughs> this is good because I got you from below before. Oh my gosh, it's so spectacular. Oh, I hope this is cool. It's so spectacular.
Now recording. So you're uh, sweeping up. Yes. And there's how many pieces left to put on that mural? One. Uh huh. Right there, huh? <laughs> I don't know if there's some duct tape. This is sort of like those old. It's very much like that. It's like I'm sweeping up to leave. Uh, you ever have any idea about how you're going to feel about it five years from now? Come back and see me. <laughs> like I can touch this and think about the kids that made it and it was really cold outside. It was like December right before Christmas. This is right before Thanksgiving. I had to carry all the pieces, slabs over to the kindergarten and let them make them and then bring them back. And, uh, really, reads is a little tricky. Like
<laughs> and she's like, I want texture. I said, well, all right. We're going to have a lot of texture. <laughs> and it wasn't as bad as I feared. So. Sometimes ignorance leads you down the right path. You know? Fears can slow you down. Anyway, yeah. Johnny was real, really interested in the texture. And then really when it comes down to it, as each kid gets to work with a tile, texture is one of the big things they've absolutely. got to play with. Absolutely, absolutely. Otherwise you have to draw it on clay. Yeah. Yeah. That was my big push when I was teaching the little kids. To get them to actually think in three dimensions rather than the two. So when are you going to do your band? Thank you. Oh, your picture, whatever. You're never going to want to do this tile. I'm okay with tiles. No, okay. The thing is, I can't. My, my committee at home, which is just me, can never come up with a decision. <laughs> I don't I've got to redo a new kitchen. Well, I, I tiled my uh, my own studio at home last year, and I did it all with marble tiles I bought from Home Depot. They had a clearance on some marble tiles. So. I, I was thinking about, well, I should make my own tiles. I'm in the business. Why don't I just do it? This is just so cool. had those tile uh, murals, you know, like in Italy for you know, hundreds of years. So I think this stuff is pretty durable. Look at Della Robias that I've been worshiping forever, right? I'm making a, a, a DVD of this whole project. So I've been filming it as we've gone along the whole time. And I've got a, a program on my computer for everything movies. It's a big, big, yeah, big. It'll be a good learning opportunity for me. Well, it will also be a nice thing for you to show to other people when you want to learn some residents somewhere else. So between Chesapeake Academy and St. John's. Uh, <laughs> well, the one I did, I did a little mural at St. John's. It was about seventh the size of this one. So maybe the next one we do will be seven times as big as this one. Good. Well, you know, they still haven't solved the leak problem. <laughs> All in water? No, 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 no. I mean the, the uh, building where the art, where the studio is. is I mean the uh, art gallery. Art gallery. Is oh, really? The Mitchell? The Mitchell building. I went to a lecture, which is the David White one, and it looked like they just finished doing the hallway again, and it was already water was already coming in under the I never knew anything about that. Yeah, it was designed for the center, I think. <laughs> and it's um, a huge architect. I'm not Miss Vanderwiller, but I mean, you know, the guy who made the architect. But he was at that school. And um, he designed it for the center of campus. And the tutors didn't want it. They decided they didn't want it. So of course they didn't want it. So we're going to put it in an effort. And that's why it leaks like a sieve and it's dark as a dome because it wasn't supposed to be here at all. <laughs> Need, um, um, 